you are joining us on our final mission of Get Custard the Bus back to Wales. But of course, it hasn't gone to plan. If you're new around here, we're Craig and Amy. We spent last winter driving through Scandinavia in our bus Custard. We've now returned to rescue her and drive her back to Wales. Yay, no way! En route, it's not been smooth sailing. Standard. At the end of this trip, we've got some big decisions to make, including what we're going to do with our bus. We've just broken down on the autobahn and it's absolutely terrifying. There's a few questions we've got. Number one, will we be let out of Europe because we've definitely outstayed our Schengen zone and we're currently illegal here, we did break down. If things go wrong, it's, it's going to be because of me and Craig, not because of Custer. What was that? Number two, will Custer's temporary fix hold up long enough to get us home? If he can cut it and re-thread it, you might be able to just fix it here. Cut and re-thread what? And number three, will there be any more problems? Probably. In the last week, we've driven our bus all the way from Lofoten towards Christiansand, where we jumped on a ferry all the way to Cuxhaven in Germany. And as we were making our way to our friends in the Netherlands, we ran into another problem. I think we're running out of fuel. Literally, it feels like we're on jungle juice. It's just vibrating. Come on, Custards, don't, don't do this, I'll throw away. We're broken down in Germany. I really, really, really hope it's just fuel. Because if it's not, we got another problem. Oh, just, just it That's it. She's dead. Cool. Safety first, kids. Uh, so we filled up in Norway before we crossed over, but I was like, just put half in because obviously the diesel in Norway is a lot more expensive than it would be in Germany. So. We didn't fill it all the way. The most annoying thing is, this is how far away we are from the nearest petrol stop. It's like a four minute drive. Probably shouldn't be doing this. Okay, good luck. All right, I'm uh, driving up the motorway, looking for some diesel. Just another day in the life, lads. We never planned this stuff. If you think we're making it up, we stopped at a petrol station and you needed a special car to actually fill up and I didn't have one. So here we are. It's one of those days today. Like custard broke down on us just before we were leaving for the boat. One minute away. Is a lesson in this always make sure your electric bike is charged i've broken down on the motorway do you have uh -huh. uh, any jerry cans to fill up some diesel yeah i think we're in luck she gave me the eye roll like you stupid boy what a stroke of luck i love the germans they're so efficient they're so prepared now i need to figure out if i can juggle riding a bike with a jerry can full of diesel on it Don't mind me, I'm just on my holidays, just on my holidays in Germany. All right, lads, I'm approaching the, uh, the motorway exit, which I shouldn't go down, but I'm gonna have to. Oh, God. Sorry, ma'am, no one breaking the law, but sometimes you break down, don't you? What are you gonna do? He's beeping at me, he's fuming. I'm attending a breakdown, mate. Do you mind? Trevor! He's back! Diesel delivery! She was so nice in there, what a legend. Crikey Moses. Right, hopefully this works. I've never actually used one of these before. Not ideal. She's like, yeah, just fill it up and just bring it back. No matter what Craig wears, it always ends up filthy. She's been grafted. All right, hopefully that was the problem. Let's see if it starts. Luckily, Kester's got one of those systems where if you do run out of fuel, it can like feed its own lines, so you don't have to like tow it somewhere. If that was the problem, then it should start after a few turns. Come on, come on. I feel like she wants to. Oh dear, nice. What was that? I don't know. I've never heard that before. Come on, Custard. Oh dear. What is that sign? Ooh. Oh! Okay. Yes! Okay. Yes, she's alive! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, for that. Bloody hell, Custard. Well, that's my fault. Your I fault. I'll take the blame for that. Driver's can fault. Can I have a crest? We're starving. Hi, kids. If you want to drive your vehicle on holiday, the most important thing you need is fuel. Yes! Mission success. Ausfahrt to the diesel station. That means exit in Germany. Not that we had to do much today, babes. We only had to drive for five hours. So somehow we got off the boat at 10 o'clock. We had 500 kilometers to do. 
and we've been going 100 kilometers per hour. We've been driving for nearly 11 hours. How did the maths work on that? We've still got an hour to go. <laughs> we haven't even got there. Are we in a time warp or something? Hell of a day. And it's been a big day today. Morning lads. Morning. We stayed at a lovely little park up last night right by a river. And this morning we're heading to see our besties. Nick and Hannah from Sultan are here. We don't know who they are. Probably got the most beautiful blog. And Instagram. On the internet. So if you're looking for some travel info or photography info, make sure you plan your trip using their website because it's just the best. And uh, it technically it's my birthday today because so we're going to have a redo. Morning birthday girl. I'm not sure what to do with that. Happy birthday, Thank babes. you. Hopefully we can get some cocktails and the weather's booming. It should be a really lovely day. We were on our way to Gore Overflache and it was only a matter of time before we saw, oh, there you go, someone on a bike and of course a windmill. Happy Yay! Birthday, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good, good. Really? Hey. Nice to see you. <laughs> Morning lads, so uh, we kind of lost you yesterday because we went to beach club, we celebrated Amy's birthday, had a few cocktails in the sun, had some really good food and just had a catch up with Nick and Hannah. So if you don't know who Nick and Hannah are, we're going to introduce you properly to them this morning and tell you their story because uh, it's a really good one. We met these guys years and years ago at a GoPro launch event and we've stayed friends ever since. They're going to give us a little tour of the Sultan Are Here HQ. Hopefully this inspires you because uh, they're a pair of legends. Hello. Hi, we're Nick and Hannah. And uh, welcome to our home. Um, I would like a tour, please. This video is sponsored by AG1. Quiet, my children. A lot of you ask me, what's the secret to life and good health? Today, I will reveal all. I have many answers. He's amazing. Trust thy body, for it is your temple. Feed it well and treat it with respect. Silence! Behold, children. My secret is... AG1! <gasps> this nutritional green drink is made from the highest quality ingredients and provides your body with everything it needs to feel energized, healthy and strong. It helps your muscle recovery, strengthens your immunity and helps with digestion. Which could help you in particular. It's the easiest way to get your vitamins and minerals. Just mix one scoop with eight ounces of cold water and drink once a day. Phil, here I have enough for everyone. <laughs> Just head to drinkag1.com forward slash king in it for five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 with your first purchase. Hey, nice jumper. Uh, yeah, if you want to get it, it's now on the King Hill web shop. <laughs> <laughs> we knew we wanted to travel together, but we never knew from the beginning that we wanted to make it our job. It all started in 2015, and right before we went on that trip, Nick won a GoPro. We, we took photos during those four months uh, with the GoPro, and one of those photos went viral. And that gave us the confidence to at least keep on doing that on Instagram. So welcome to our, uh, our little house. We got this house during COVID. It started as completely blank and then we made this retro bohemian house from it to get a bit of Bali back. Took half of the house from there and shipped it here. It's amazing. Like I just knew whenever the guys were gonna get a house it would be incredible. Like TV design and like the way like her and her mum painted this wall. Like you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> took took, you know? took yeah. three days. You walk in and you're just like <gasps> Wow, me and Craig really want to get a house quite soon now, you know, we're engaged and everything. My ring's in the shop, we haven't broken up. It's getting resized. <laughs> and I'm going to invite these guys to interior design our house. Yeah, well, go news to flash. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be there. She's, the, she's definitely the designer. I, by that time, I was a web developer and as a graphic designer. So everyone started asking questions underneath all those older photos of where these destinations are, how to get there. So we were like, oh, well, let's start a website. But we still had our corporate jobs next to it. All our evening and free hours went into building the website and Instagram. But we still didn't have our own courage to really went for it until we went to Bali with you guys actually yeah. and that's where we saw that so many people were already 
working remotely that together with seeing you guys doing your thing that was the the main yeah you really point you guys really pushed us it's scarily clean like they're no hoarders you don't live like no, this no we, no. Don't. we don't live no. like this we no. knew we had gas we, we, <laughs> we, we knew you guys were coming and we have a robot robot vacuum hey google clean the house <laughs> It's like a little pet as well. You don't have much stuff, which uh, can't be said for me. Like if this was my bedroom, you'd have no space to be in it. <laughs> it is a rental house, so that's why we chose to keep a lot of walls white. Also a lot of thrift shop finds, so I got this one for free from Facebook Marketplace. Really? Yeah. Oh. yeah. If we never won the GoPro on the auction, we would have never been recognized by GoPro, mm -hmm. be invited for an event and we would have never met. True. So yeah. we met at a, a GoPro event in Mallorca in Spain and we, we, we it just clicked. And we, we've stayed in touch ever since. What did you just call Andy? <laughs> Crocodile Dundee. I bought it all morning, Dora the Explorer. Craig's like, how many elephants have you seen this morning? Like, <laughs> get me behind this. Oh, Sheila, we've seen the rare parrot in the <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> when we had our corporate jobs until we, we, we went uh, full time, that took two years. I think that's important to mention as well. After we went full time, it was just fully focused on that, just going for it. Fast forward to now, we have a team of six. The way we we earn an income for like six people is mostly through our website. Oh, have you grown since I've seen you last? Or maybe you've shrunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the office. <laughs> Would you call yourself an organized person? Yeah, yeah, because like in between travels, we only have like few weeks. So I need everything to be there and when, I, when we leave I can just pack everything in a day. And uh, also multi-award winning. The minds of these two, if I could have just a smidgen, I would be a very lucky lady. What you would need to start something like this is really the will to get through all the struggles of it as well. Don't look at the numbers right in the beginning. Right, yeah. Because it doesn't grow overnight. You shouldn't start it and think like, oh, I'm gonna make money by starting a uh, a website start a website or start a youtube channel about a, a something you really love and if you can turn it into something of work then that's good but it shouldn't be the other way around super proud of you guys yeah like so proud and you're just not just beautiful friends but like really inspiring business people as well thank so you, uh, <laughs> oh, <love> you. <laughs> this is where we slept last night just uh, next to nick and hannah's house got woken up at 4:30 uh, a.m by a rooster i was gonna go out and grab him by the neck <laughs> but i didn't i just said to him listen mate you could be dinner unless you shut up not very vegan of you. <laughs> now that you know our friends, we're going to show you the city of Rotterdam. I am buzzing. Buzzing, boys. Let's drive. There's two types of people in this world. Me and Craig. But it's my birthday, so... Just had a fairly big lunch. Will it be smooth? Yeah. Fast though? Yeah. Oh, fast, yeah. Fingers crossed, we're all right. Yeah, it's like a personal boat. Guys, ripping. You don't need that much adrenaline after you've had a lot of bread. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen his face in the mirror. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to get around the city. The last time we came to Rotterdam, we actually drove a hot tub through the canals and it was bloody brilliant. I love this city, like we've been a few times and every time we come back, there's love even more. We've got a belter of a day we as well. We always have had. We've always had good weather here, it's been amazing. We've got our own personal tour guide as well today. Oh, me? I'll even take you through the Amazon jungle a bit later on. <laughs> we'll have a nap in this park, shall we? We didn't film much just because we were having so much fun with them. Nick and Hannah, pair of bloody gems. Are they still there? Because they knew we went the wrong way. <laughs> They're like, they ain't catching that you All right, lads, our time in Europe has come to an end. So we're making our way through the rest of the Netherlands, through Belgium, down through France to Calais, and we're going to get the Euro Tunnel then over to Folkestone in England. The next challenge for us is hoping that we can get across the border because uh, pretty sure we've outstayed our Schengen zone by like a few days. So confusing, if anyone's experienced there you'll know it's just like the most ridiculous system ever. Hopefully the border guards don't check my stamps. Amy's got a new passport so she'll be fine. I'll just leave it if anything happens and I'll just legally drive the bus home myself. I don't know why you turned out to be. <laughs>
Take care, bon voyage. You're a good lad. I know. Sometimes. Attitude on this one today. Alright lads, we've made it to the Euro Tunnel. We're early for once, Craig, and we've got Flexi Plus tickets because we're adults now. And there was a chance, you know, plus they're breaking down that like we might not have made it, but we are. Once we get past this line, just we're say, on the home track. We ain't going to jail. We're going home. We're going. Craig and Amy is going home. We made it! We're through, lads. Oy. We made it back pretty late last night, but we've made it to Wales. Oosh. Custard went the distance, which I'm so happy about because I was pretty unsure if that pipe would hold out. Next time we go away, perhaps we should get roadside breakdown cover. Just completely forgot, you know, going to Japan and then coming home, getting engaged, doing everything. We just completely forgot to get it and we definitely paid the price. Nearly 650 quid. I've told Craig we both need to get a paper round when we get home. So now Custard needs a lot of TLC. And uh, there's only one man for the job. We're all going on a summer holiday. There he is! Hey. What's on it? Hello, hello. Good to town on you. Oh. Did you miss us? Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, back down the workshop. I don't work on buses anymore. Just gonna sell, start selling tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you say tomatoes. There's a beautiful garden. Right, go on, take us through then. Right, from the bottom. From the bottom, go on. Loves it. Got wildflowers, onions, wildflowers, garlic, beans, more tomatoes, different varieties, more onions. Oh. I don't know what that is, but it was in that box with that lot. Onions, because we like onions. Good for the breath, yeah? Potatoes. And potatoes on the end. Bloody marvellous, as you'd say. If anyone wants to buy a van, Gary's selling this. 18 and a half grand. Converted it himself. Take a look inside, it's beautiful. It's a Volkswagen Transporter T30. 2012, 2 litre, 140,000 miles, I think. Well, just fresh conversion, all new seats, fridge, central heating, running water, gas hob, electric hookup, brand new wheels and tyres, and a, a nice new paint job. Send him a DM if you want to buy it. Our screen wash broke. I think it froze when we were in Norway, so um, that's the state of it at the moment. RIP all the bugs. Next on the agenda was to make a big man list. We'd be leaving the bus with Gary for a few months and there was a lot to do. We only really want to do what we need, I think. This is the worst. <laughs> Oh, wait. Yeah. To that. Is that going back on Canada? Potentially. Rear trailer boards need sorting on it. I don't know what you want to do about all this. How far do you actually want me to go? Well, we don't want anything to break off on the road. The rust is that needs to be stuck to the wrap. That definitely needs to in there, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. I'm thinking of doing is put a little tap in there to bleed the pipes. I don't want to dig too far into it because I think we're going to find more and more and more. Okay, to the side. Air control cover. Oh, air con, yeah. I need a new one of those because that's cracked. Or to tap. Yeah, that one's right. <laughs> this is the worst bit. <laughs> it's just done you, haven't it? I'd have to take that off and repair it. Did he tell you we ran out of petrol on the motorway? You had to take back Jones to the nearest petrol station. That's it. Germany. Ge <laughs> it's rusted behind, see, so I'm afraid we're going to have to peel some of this back, you know, the um, wrap. They've got to get some good metal under there somehow. Well, I have actually been thinking about changing the colour of Custard the Bus. I love the green, and I know you were all kicking bins when we changed it from like the yellow colour because obviously her name is Custard. So I feel like she doesn't necessarily match with her name and the colour. So uh, I've got some things in mind, but what do you think we should do? Do you think we should change the colour? And if so, what colour should it be? But yeah, I've got some ideas maybe. <laughs> Alright, so just gonna head into Cardiff now to get my engagement ring because it's ready, it's been resized and it should fit like a dream. So I told Gary, we'll probably be about four hours, I've got the dentist as well, so if he can get all that done in the next four hours then that'd be great. Also, today is melting hot though, look at that. In the UK lads, what is happening? Trev just picked up her ring and she's buzzing. She's flashing it about the place like she's Madonna. So happy that it fits me now. It felt really weird to wear it because obviously we were new newly engaged and it just felt weird to have a ring on this finger. But then when I was without it, I was like, oh, where's it gone, you know? But look at that for an absolute beauty. I am in oh, thanks, babes. love. Thanks. In love with it. It's just, <laughs> it's my favorite thing that I've ever owned. Spoiled tart, aren't you? I am quite spoiled, yeah. So I'm just gonna have a nap because the sun's out, it's boiling in here and it's making me really sleepy. And the last thing I want to do is clean the bus. Ringo's on her finger, the attitude's back. <laughs> oh. 
wet to tripod, sleeping bag. Oh, the wine. Don't actually have any suitcases or anything either. Hey. How many books have you got back here? About six? How many did you read? No. Oh, it's not zero. I'm a busy guy, what can I say? So, Gary, if you're watching me, you remember who um, installed them? Yeah. Every single one of them is broken. <laughs> if you could pop them back on, that'd be great. Right, we've got to move on to bin bags. I don't even know what's in half these bags. Oh, she's got it. The portable air conditioner is here to save the day. Another issue we've got is all the wood's expanding now because it's so hot. This one doesn't even open. Another little job for you, Gaff. So. Cheers. There's my Mario game. Oh, I thought I hid that. So right now we're packing. So we're actually going on a holiday for once in our lives. Yeah. Hashtag self care. Us and uh, 14 of some of our greatest friends, they're all going to meet up in a huge villa in Bali. We cannot wait. Just to clarify for people out there who might be like, you're going on holiday? Your life's a holiday. There's a lot of work that goes into what we do. And when we come back, we're going to be taking part in the Pope Foot Rally in Africa. Like we've been to Morocco, got scammed, watch a video. Um, that was brilliant, but I don't think it's the true Africa, you know, I think lions and giraffes and what car we get is a surprise for now. Might be a surprise to us even. That's coming. Get these on our shop. Go on, treat yourself. Why the devil not? I think the rest is you, Trev. Not much stuff. How can two people take so much stuff? This is why our fuel bill is so high. We got one more job to do and we've been putting it off. I, I'm dressed, I'm not doing it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I got a thing to do today, I, I gotta go. Gary should be in on this. Because he used the toilet as well, so he's got off scot free. I'll show you the way. It's by there. That's for free. I'll do the bins. You gotta do the dishes as well. And the fridge needs emptying. Oh, quick then, because we've got a dump appointment and this has all got to go in 20 minutes. That's it, you know the score. You've done this before, Craig, so it should be really easy. Yeah, I've done it about three times in a row. That's funny, isn't it? It's a shame you're so rubbish at rock, paper, scissors. I know, is that my game? <laughs> I should probably churn it before we go, shouldn't I? Because it looks pretty mouldy in there. You might want these. Part one. Ooh. I'm going in. That is weighty. All right, I'm going to stand back here a bit, so uh, do not to censor anything, because uh, it's a bit dodgy. I'll just zoom in. Go on, you got it. Remember you got over Gary's floor last time? Or was that me? <laughs> <laughs> my pyjamas. Grab my poo hand. Oh, no. We just went into Gary's workshop and we were like, yeah, have you got like an industrial strength bin bag? And I was like, oh, it's just for our human poo. It's, it is really weird that you have to just put it into a bag and put it in the bin. But I guess it's a much more sustainable way of doing it because it's compostable. So there's a churner inside the toilet. That's why we can't just put a bag directly in. I know you're all going to ask that in the comments. That was a pretty clean sweep last time I had to shovel it out. The only problem is there's a hole in the bin bag. That's oh, are you joking? <laughs> Hats off to the parents for wiping bums, like I just couldn't do it. But this is where she's going to live now, for the next few months I guess, while Gary's going to work on her, fix everything that's broken. Best of luck, eh? Gonna miss her. We always miss dropping her off and then flying somewhere else. Because we've just, you know, it's our home. We've got everything in there. And I get to take as many outfits and accessories as I want to. She's in good hands. She's in good hands, everyone. Alright, lads. <laughs> We are doing a lot. It doesn't look like it, but there's a lot of stuff to do. We're leaving tomorrow and we're getting on a jet plane and we're going to Bali. Yeah, so the first sort of week, two weeks is going to be a little holiday with friends. And then the second half, we might have some videos for you guys. So see you there. See you then. Get on it. Bye, Custard. Love you. Be good. <laughs>